Welcome to the inaugural lecture by Professor Kevin Moffett, Professorial Teaching Fellow in the School of Life Sciences. We're here today to celebrate the Lily Orkingrace, one of our esteemed fellows of our academic community, who has excelled in learning and teaching leadership at the University of Warwick, nationally and internationally. Throughout his career, he's focused particularly on teaching and inspiring many students at both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. Kevin describes his passion for teaching in the most straightforward way. He simply says, I cannot not teach. And ask the question, what is the value of biology? They basically come up with four answers. The answers are wealth creation, health creation, education, fascination. Just this bottom line, fascination, because this is the one since the age of eight and my brothers going off to university to study microbiology was really what drove me on. Now, for the scientists in the room, this is the middle of the brain of Drosophila. This is actually the mushroom bodies of the fly brain, and we picked up ways of expressing genes in these amazing tiny areas of the fly brain. So, this is a fly, it's about four, five millimeters long, and we can dissect these off, put their brains up, and look inside them in a microscope, and we will develop techniques to do this. And then I have a PhD student, John Conley, who's working in Cosbury Harbour. He says, hi, Kevin, when you come over for the meeting in Cosbury Harbour, could you bring me some flies? Yes, I said, how many do you want? 12,000. So I do a lot of paperwork yeah, and to get this through the American authorities. Glass bottles with flies carrying rice in them. <laughs> what could go wrong? The answer to what could go wrong was Virgin Airlines. The Virgin Airlines had employed a lovely student. She was about eight foot tall. I'm dressed completely in red, and I, and I chink, 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 chink with my flies through the X-ray machine. And you can hear them walking, talking, passenger moth, but stop the departure lounge, and strange parcel. We'll get to the departure lounge, she says, you can't take those on, on board. Why not? I've got all the paperwork to go into the States. Virgin Airlines do not take animals on their flights. <laughs> well, uh, no problem, no problem, no problem. I will convince her that flies are not animals. Not animals at all. Turned out she had a degree in zoology. <laughs> The value of science is 26 out of 650. How many MPs are there? 650. How many have a science degree? How many have a degree in politics, philosophy, and economics? The answer is lots of them. And the answer is they are the people who run this country, and not the scientists. So how do I help my students? Spouse their irritation. I get into like blogs and I assess their blogs. We have students who are otherwise slightly unengaged for quite medical reasons, and we don't know how good they are. But in the privacy of blogging, they've got their voice, they've got their independence. And some students who we thought were completely disengaged, you don't see the references. It turns out they could not. When I saw the opening line to this blog, it says it was a new kind of death. Now, I've given her some advice on how to make that even more dramatic, but actually that kind of resonated. It was about, she was interested in how sarin toxin worked and had killed people that she was related to in your life. This is a student who doesn't come across very well in lectures and exams, but actually was just brilliant. Because I try to encourage the students to actually start to communicate science where science happens. Science happens in politics. We've actually got two students last year who went to often to the Science Media Centre to become interns. So we have had some effect. We got involved with theatre groups. Getting involved in the arts has been one of the best things I've ever done. I've now worked with four different theatre groups. This was by far the biggest, the last theatre company from London turned a house in Coventry, a massive mansion, Draper's Hall, into an institute of impossibility. And I just say, this part of my job has just been the most fun. And I just want to tell you that biology is amazing. It's just the most amazing subject. It's fascinating for the students. And I think the more we can be educated and deliver um, science communication to them in this way, 